What's up guys, this is the Tragic Ops, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to make a good intro intro or channel um, channel video. And this is using Animoto.com. Uh, I'm mainly making this for a friend who is completely idiotic and cannot figure out how to actually use it. So you go to the um, link that's in the description, choose which design is your favourite. Here I'm just doing future, and you click here, make a 30 second video. Wait for it to load. From here, you can add the change the music at the top and add text like I'm here. The first title, the Tragic Ops presents. And then you can add pictures. So you just upload pictures or videos. Um, select which pitch you want to do, or you can have a five second video. Now, um, for my channel intro, I recorded a bit of parkour and some Gary's mod, I think, and just put them into a five second video, which I then uploaded. Then I had a bit of me just put some chocolate. But here, uploading Flappy Bird thing, death. It's more text. Uh, you can also, with the pictures, you can caption them. Which I will probably do in a sec here. I recorded this this morning and I'm just speaking over it now. So, uh. There's me just looking at what this um, thing is. So it's better to have larger photos, obviously, for the higher quality, especially considering that if you do it for free you can only have 360p but to be honest it's not too bad because it's only 30 seconds maximum um, so it doesn't really matter um, so to caption this at the bottom you just click add a caption and then add your caption, as simple as that. Save it, and then you. There are just me looking at these other things to check I haven't missed anything. And then preview your video. You can enter here, you can enter title, description, the date you did it, all that. And just generally, obviously, well, <laughs> just preview the video. Check that it's all nice and uh, fancy. laggy, um, as you'd expect. And then, but it puts this uh, logo thing at the end which you can cut later on. So then you um, make video, go to this page, it just finalises everything just completely loads it, gets rid of the lag and then stuff like that and here where my mouse is currently, well not now but just where I was before you can share it to all the different social websites um, but to download it we want to put it to YouTube and exp so export it to YouTube and it can take anywhere between like 10 seconds, it can do it really quickly um, or it could take like 15 minutes or something depending on the size really I guess so you go onto your channel and you want to click <laughs> here's me just checking the notif uh, notifications while I wait for it to uh, go across really There it is. Um, so you can see it's gone quite fast. So click the down arrow and go to Video Manager. Here, another down arrow and download MP4. And then 
then once it's downloaded you can just delete it off your channel if you're just going to use it as an intro or something. Now if you have Chrome like me it will automatically put it in your downloads box so you can just drag it over to your videos. Here's me just checking it all worked. See the quality yeah. the quality's not too bad to be honest. It doesn't really matter. Um as long as like your main video is good and everything. But here's just me cutting off the I'm just gonna cut off the end bit. You just input it in, you want to take it frame by frame, where like skip the end, take it frame by frame. So you have none of none of the uh, view there, um, as you will see in a second. Then you just cut it, make the movie, like export it, and just save that wherever you need it to be. See there, completely disappeared. All of the uh, lines and everything split. Delete that, and then render it out. And there you have it. That is the video done. Just wait for it to finish. And then you can put it at the start of any video if it's just an intro. Um, or you can just upload it back to YouTube to have it as your channel trailer without the video at the end. Yeah, see it's completely cut out the logo. So um, I hope you enjoyed and found this useful. Uh, Tom, if you're listening, I cannot believe you couldn't understand how to do this. But anyway, I would like to make a formal apology for my language in my past two videos. It's been very, very terrible and I will endeavour to improve it and not use as many swear words as I had someone complain about 50% of the comments as in one of them out of the two was a complaint about my language so sorry basically and goodbye